The Dating Show, brought to you by alderdatingonline.com. It's springtime and all the flowers are coming out, so today we're going to be talking about flowers, whether you should give them on a first date, second date, and what kind of flowers that people like to give and receive. Just before we start, what's your favourite flower? Uh, I like peonies best. Peonies. Mm. Okay. Are there any flowers that you don't like at all? If, um, if I gave you some flowers, you don't like them. Well, I think for me, lilies have a bit of a connotation, especially white lilies with funerals. So uh, I think that's a bit of a no, you know, white lilies. Okay. Probably. And do you think giving giving somebody, um, you know, a red rose is that mm. a bit too cheesy in a way? Yeah, or... I think it can be a bit cliche if you haven't known that person for a long time. But if you know each other quite well, it can be quite a nice, nice thing to do, especially if you know the person likes yeah. red roses. Because as a man, I like flowers. Mm. Uh, I've never been given flowers, but I like flowers. Yeah. I like giving people flowers, mm. um, and I like choosing them. Um, as a woman, mm -hmm. how important is it to you that some you, you get flowers from a potential partner? Is mm. it a bit? Is it more important than say chocolates? Or I don't think there's much difference between chocolates and flowers. Um, they're both perishable, so they have to be eaten or they have to be displayed and they will go away soon enough. It's not like a permanent gift like a necklace or something like that so it's quite nice if you have just started going out with someone. I, 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 pref I don't mind. I think flowers and chocolates are equally nice. Um, flowers can be a good option if someone is uh, dairy intolerant or doesn't uh, so diamonds like would be better, I presume. Well, obviously. Yeah. Um, but when giving flowers, mm. uh, what does your research show anything about when you should give flowers? And if so, you know, what do you give? Do you give? You mm. know, you've got to create the right impression here. So, what sort mm. of flowers do you give? When do you give them? And how many do you give? Do you give one single rose and mm -hmm. you turn up with a great bunch of flowers? Is that a bit too keen, a bit too... Well, you know, uh, what, 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 what? I think it's up to each individual and the circumstances. Um, but from what I've seen, there is no wrong time to give flowers. In fact, most people, uh, I think 87% of men, 90% of women, said that any time is the right time to give uh, a bouquet of flowers. So it's up to you. Uh, whenever you feel like it. I think people don't get turned off by uh, gifts of beautiful flowers mm. and it is, is always positive. And um, is, it, um, is it something you would do, would you buy a man flowers? Yeah, I think more and more, um, especially lots of young people like giving each other flowers and it's not so, um, it's not so gender binary and men give women flowers and women give men flowers. So I think for whoever, as long as they like to receive flowers, then you should give them. And first date is probably not that, uh, I, I, mm -hmm. I would say probably not on the first date. No. It, it, that is creating the wrong impression that you're a yeah. bit, bit, a bit too, too keen, keen and yeah. you don't know the person. But after that, then mm. any, anything goes really. I think any, so, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. On the first date can be, can be seen as a bit uh, forward and um, maybe a bit keen, as we said, mm. but after that, I think fine, yeah. Yeah. Now we've got our researcher um, mm -hmm. that we've got, because you've obviously researched the sort of, mm -hmm. is it the main flowers to buy the top flowers? Yes, yeah, so we've got the top 10 flowers um, that Britain, uh, their favorite flowers, so the most popular flowers in the UK. Okay, well, welcome to the top 10 flowers. At number 10, we have poppies. Although, as Danielle told me, poppy seeded bread will not do in a pinch. At number nine, we have freesias. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. In fact, I don't have any information about freesias since I don't know what they are. Bluebells, um, they're very nice. Carnations, what in tarnation? It's a carnation at number seven. At number six, we have orchids. Lovely, lovely orchids. At sunflowers, they're only coming at number five, presumably because they only come out in summer, so they have less time to make an impact. Daffodils come in at number four. They spring up first, but only come in at number four. At number three, we have tulips. At number two, we have lilies. Not white, though, as we just learnt. And at number one, flowers and chocolates are equally nice, and we can go with roses at number one. Hiya. I've got you this lovely potted plant. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about flowers and like, they're so short-lived, so I thought, potted plant, that's the way to go. 
Okay. It's a bit complex. You need to feed it four times a day. Right. What do I need to feed it with? Bulgarian tonic water. I don't think there's anywhere around here that does Bulgarian tonic water. Oh, no, 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 there is. There's a place a few miles away. It's fine. You'll be able to do it. Uh, okay. It does yeah. need a lot of light. You, I mean, you might have to put it in front of the curtains, like, so that... <laughs> You'll want to display it though, wouldn't you? Oh, you do need to prune it quite a lot, at least once a day, two days at most. And make sure you don't prune it too much though, because if you cut it too much, then it starts to spray out this weird noxious liquid. So just be aware of that ahead of time. Don't worry though, it's really nice. It's a great orchid. Thank you. The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com.